All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with more Tales of the Abyss. Cheshire Cat says, I can't find yours, Lord Fury. You must have quit. Are you feeling better today? Well, guys, it's time to go on in the story. We are going to go through this gate. Hey, Asane, welcome. Yes, I did make a mushroom joke. When, when we played The Last of Us 2. This person doing. The governor is in the back room. Please enter if you have business. She wants us to enter through the back door. Jade! Oh, my brother's alive! Brother? Seriously? Hello, Nefri. It's been a while, hasn't it? Not since your wedding, I believe. What's going on? They said you were killed at Exeriuth. Well, what happened is... That's incredible. I'm just glad you're safe. We'll inspect the Tartarus. Once you're resupplied, please go see Emperor Peony. He's been very worried. You've been very oh. worried. Didn't everyone think I was dead? His Majesty was the only one who believed you were still alive. Your pill alarm? The rest of you, too. Please wait a bit while we prepare your ship. This is a tourist city, so I think you'll be safe here. I'll book a room at the inn for you. Please get some rest. If you don't mind, I'd like a word with you. Please come by again later, alone. Okay, that's random. I'm sure my brother must be a lot of trouble. He's not the most pleasant human being. Dude, what? Why? This room is almost identical to the previous one, except... Alright. Sure. We'll go with that. We've received word from the governor. Please make yourselves comfortable. Oh, I forgot something at Nefri's place. I'll go get it real quick. Shall I go with you? Nefri's a woman, remember? Oh, I love looking at beautiful women. Guy is most certainly... a guy. She's an older woman and married, you know. Wait, hold on. I didn't mean it like that. Master, I'll go with you too. Yeah, everybody just shut up. I don't need anyone to come with me. Did he wave in his hand like that? Like... <laughs> what the fuck? It's story advancement time. Alright, what do you want? I'm sorry. When I heard you were a replica, I thought I simply must tell you about my brother. What are you talking about? The reason why Jade created Fomacry. Even now, I still remember that day. I was careless and broke my favorite doll. My brother developed the basis for Fomacry and used it to create a copy of my doll. A replica. He was nine years old. Unbelievable. Normally, you'd simply buy another doll. But my brother created a copy. I felt something abnormal in his way of thinking. Abnormal? You don't have to put it like that. He acts nice now, but as a child, my brother was a terror. A devil. He could use phonic arts that adults found difficult. He enjoyed killing even harmless monsters. My brother didn't understand what it meant for living things to die. Ah, so he's a psychopath. Okay. He doesn't seem that way to me. It was Professor Nebulum who changed him. She was a healer, a seventh phonist. Jade can't use the seventh phonon, so he admired her. 
but a tragedy occurred. He tried to use the seventh phonon and wound up unleashing a phonic art he couldn't control. Jade's phonic art struck down Professor Nebulum and set the building on fire. He killed her? She was still barely alive, just laying there. My brother looked at her and had an idea. There was still time to make a replica. He could save Professor Nebulum. Jade extracted her information and created a replica. But the replica that was born was nothing more than a monster. What happened to the real Nebulum? She passed away. After that, my brother's talents were recognized, and he was adopted into the famous Curtis military family. I think he probably wanted a better environment for studying how to bring back the professor. But he stopped replicating living things. Why? That's thanks to Emperor Peony. Those two are best friends. I see. But honestly, I think deep down my brother still wants to resurrect Professor Nebulum. I don't really think that's the case. Yes, it may just be a groundless fear. But I still wanted to let you know so that you could help to keep him in check. I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening, she says. That was quite random. So, I presume Nefri's told you. Told me what? You're a naughty boy telling lies like that. How did you know? It doesn't matter. Though I will say for the record that I no longer desire to resurrect the professor. Really? You're sure? You should know the reason for that better than anyone. I want to beg Professor Neblum's forgiveness so that I might feel better. But replicas have no memory of the past. A replica cannot forgive me. Jade. I'll live the rest of my life pained by the sins of my past. Sins? You mean killing Nebulum? Hmm. Perhaps my greatest sin was not understanding the significance of life and death. If I had the ability to make replicas, I think I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Are you trying to cheer me up? You've somewhat missed the mark, but I appreciate the sentiment. In any case, you mustn't tell anyone of this. Understood? All right. That's a promise. I mean, that's fair. It's his business, so... Technically speaking, I don't know why the governor called me there to tell me any of that, but... It's so cold! The sorcerer's ring is freezing my tummy! Cheagles don't like the cold, do they? I'm not fond of it myself. I want some nice warm sunlight. It may be a bit cold, but the town is so beautiful at night. Moonlight on the silver snow. Wouldn't it be splendid to walk with a gentleman through such beauty? Yeah, that would be so great! <clears throat> so cold. My belly's gonna freeze solid. Why do ladies at resorts have to get so close when they come talk to you? I can't even go outside at this point. It looks like we have little hope with that group. Huh? What about the maybe not so bad after all colonel? I saw him walk off with a pretty woman earlier. But there's already three pretty women right here! <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, I think it's cute the way he's worried about his tummy freezing. Oh my. Well. <laughs> what? Nothing at all. Best wishes. Oh, I think you make a fine pair. I was talking about Mew. <laughs> the fuck is Mew doing? Thank you. The TARDIS inspection is complete. You can leave at any time. Okay, shall we head for Grand Kokuma now? Yes. We should inform the Emperor as quickly as possible about the danger of St. Bina falling. Yes, first let's hurry to the Vitalvo Bridge. Uh, and then we walk from there. Colonel, if I get tired, carry me on your back, okay? I'm afraid not. Perhaps it's my age, but my joints ache, you see? Get the Grand Kokma, we head northeast from the bridge and then pass through Theor Forest. 
It's a rough trip for an old man like me. You youngsters should will have to shield me and lead the way. Um, yeah. There's no time to waste. Let's get going, guys. Thanks for your help, Nefri. Take care. Brother, please give my regards to his majesty. Alright, so, um, you guys have heard the term Grand Kokma. Grand Kokma is another location on the Sephiroth. How about, about how Jade killed, uh, the professor and then went, uh, worked on Pharmacy to bring her back to life? I don't know. It's too hard to understand. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to ask someone. Didn't you promise not to tell anyone? Whoa! At this rate, it looks like you'll be breaking that promise in short order. No, I won't. Really? Me too, really? Well, I still have my doubts, but I believe you yourself can understand. Why, there is no point in discussing it with anyone. Yeah, nobody's gonna make excuses. For what you've done wrong, and you're not supposed to really be looking for them anyway. Indeed, if you put too much effort into making excuses, you end up running from your mistakes. Accepting the truth is a difficult thing to do. But it is also necessary. Yeah. Yes! Excellent. And you are, of course, aware that should you tell anyone, you will be punished. Y yeah. Yes. Punished. If you're listening to Boss Mass. What the fuck? Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Gotten quite a bit of story so far today, so I think it's time to move on in the game and fight some things. I guess, I guess we did beat the crap out of those knights over and over again at the start. So there's that. I don't think we fought any enemies in this area. What do we even have? This is not good. There's no oh, okay, so really nothing new. Killed guy. Okay. That's like triple the EXP I was getting in the uh, other area previous to this. I'm just gonna run back to the end over here and use it. <laughs> Alright, note to self, this is a decent place to level up. Has anyone made a game that was called Tales of and it wasn't part of uh, the Tales of group? Oh, I want to say probably yes. Uh, we can answer that fairly quickly using Google. I mean, verifying login information. We got Tales of the Shire, uh, the Lord of the Rings story, Tales of Kenzer Zhao, Tales of Fablecraft. So yeah, I think that that has been done. That's just on Steam alone. What I can tell you is Bandai Namco wasn't super, 
stupid about the, the whole Tales of thing. Yeah, their moniker is Tales of something, right? Which, you know, it, it adds to the brand and it's like, you know what you're getting into. Um, but not every game is that part of it. Um, not like McDonald's trying to, um, trying to trademark the Mick part of their name. So people with a uh, Mick in their name had to change it. Like, for example, uh, there was a, um, a uh, mattress place called Mick Sleep or something like that. And they had to change their name because McDonald's did what they did. Funnily enough, though, there is actually a restaurant. I want to say it's in Illinois? Maybe Connecticut? Uh, anyway, it was named um, McDonald's, but it existed before the fast food chain did, restaurant did. And uh, McDonald's tried to get them to change their name. And they would not. Huh. Here's the Rotovo Bridge. You still think McDonald's in Illinois should sue corporate McDonald's? Is it in Illinois? I don't remember exactly where it is, but... There was, uh... Definitely a McDonald's that would. Too easy. Too easy? You think there's more than one of them? I only know the, of one that was, uh... That had an article written about it that I had read. There could be more than one, sure, but I I, I didn't read about that any, any more than one. This thing still wants to fight me? It's gonna die like me. What the fuck? This looks like fun. Okay. Probably a muted guy, but... Too easy. Look at that 5 EXP. Anyway, Satan, how you doing? What you been, uh, what, what you been up to? So we gotta go through the forest, but I don't remember where the entrance to the forest is. Is it over here? No, it's gotta be over here. Hatred, mostly? Uh, I'm gonna be starting uh, Life Like a Dragon Infinite Well. There's so much here going on that the game is actually slowing down. It's impressive. Ah, here we go. Right, we're gonna save before we go in here. We're waiting to get it. At. Well, it came up next on my backlog, and I decided, yeah, I'll just pick it up. I got some extra money laying around. Uh, well, the last of my game budget for this month was there, so I was like, all right, whatever, I'll just pick it up. Pure Forest. Who are you? I'm Colonel Jade Curtis, commander of the 3rd Division Malkuth Imperial Forces. Colonel Curtis! We heard you were lost in the destruction of Axarioth! Viscount Osborne of Ketterberg will vouch for my identity. I seek an audience with His Imperial Majesty. Well, we can let you through, Colonel, but... What? This is Ion, Fawn Master of the Order of Lorelei. Come on, you can let us through. No, this could still be a trap. Even if you are from Doth, we must still refuse. <laughs> Please wait here. Once I meet with His Majesty, they'll let you through right away. So we just hang out here. Oh well, guess there's nothing we can do. We'll escort you. Jade has left the party. All right, I gotta give Anna a new title. How much longer is this going to take? Yes, it's hard just waiting. <laughs> what was that? A scream! Let's go! They can make out and make s'mores? I love uh, Final Dungeon and uh, Like a Dragon Sour do a lot. I don't know if I'll play it enough to do any of the post-game stuff, but we'll see. Don't treat me like a child. Can I have some money, though? Hang on! 
Those were Oracle soldiers. Damn it. Oracle? Could Van be involved? That guy did not. What's he trying to do all. in Grand Kokma? Maybe he's working on destroying a Sephiroth tree. No, there shouldn't be a Sephiroth in this area. We're not getting anywhere standing around talking. Let's go get them. Yes. We cannot permit this kind of wanton violence. Wait. If we go in without permission and Malku's soldiers find us... We'll just have to stay hidden. The last thing we want is a fight with Malkuth. Hide and seek, huh? Ion, please don't screw it up. Oh! Right. Everyone just decided to go on in. <sighs> you hate that it's actually called the Sephiroth? Why do you hate that? That Malkuth soldier. He thought letting us through could be a trap. Yes, Malkuth Kim Laska relations appear to be deteriorating. Even with Ion here, too. I'm sorry, I couldn't be of any help. No, that's not what I meant. In any case, things are looking pretty bad. At this rate, we really have war on our hands. We've got to get through this forest as fast as we can. Hide and seek. Sneaking through the forest like this is exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it almost feels like hide and seek. I haven't played hide and seek in years. But you were pretty amazing at hiding in those days. So you're good at sneaky stuff like that, huh? Well, excuse me for being sneaky. Well, like how you were always f ran somewhere else when you were about to be found. And you were certainly sneaky enough for the rest of us. Huh. Well, I could still beat him any day. A cute little body like mine is perfect for hiding. Oh, look, she's calling herself cute. What, are you trying to say I'm not cute? What do you care about a sneaky guy like me says about you? You're about as sexy as Mew. Hey, just you wait. I'll get as big as Tear when I'm grown up. Please, no way you could hope to match those melons. M melons Both of you, stop being stupid and be quiet now! Um, Tyr, you're being louder than both of them. S sorry I mean, I think she had cause to be. There's a soldier guarding the path. We'll have to distract him and make it past. Distract him how? You mean like make a sound or something? Hmm. How about shaking the trees or such? More importantly than that, Luke, do you know which way to go? Um, hmm. It's northwest from here. Grand Kokma is past the other side. Oh fuck, that's right, this area sucks. The Oracle Knights are getting really moving quickly. They're always getting ahead of us. Yes, whether it's Van or Moe's who's giving the orders. They always work quickly and efficiently. Both of them ignore you too much. I hate them. Ion, do you know what Van has been doing since Exerith? I'm afraid not. The only people I can give orders to are the Fallen Master Guardians, so I haven't been able to search for him. The number of Guardians isn't what it used to be, either. Evidently, since fucking Anna seems to be the only one. I see. I wonder how bad it will be if the Oracle Knights get the Grand Kokma before us. They might try to trick the Emperor, like in Kimlaska. I don't think that will be a problem. Emperor Peony should be waiting for Jade's report. I suspect the Oracle Knights will have a different aim. If we find the Oracle soldiers hiding here, we should be able to find at least some of their plans. That'll be a start. Yeah, let's go find them. <laughs> nope, immediately seen. Who are you? Okay, so we gotta get all the way the fuck over there. Alright.
I remember that this area sucks, so... There's that. Because we're not getting over the bridge. Okay. Apparently that's too close for that. Like, there doesn't seem to be a path forward. Like, you figure that moving forward would open up a, a, a means to get through. I'm just wait for the turn around. Is that it? Okay. Unclear. I see a ball. Unfortunately, this is now blocked off. That's fine. Makes a little more sense now. They really like this hiding from NPC, uh... Uh, mechanic they got going on here. There was a beast there. Is that thing acting as a guard too? Most likely. But animals are weak to fire. Think, Luke. Animals are weak to fire. Having to swap between the uh, things is going to be annoying. I wonder if um, we're right there. I wonder if um, I can just sneak up around the side here. Okay. Okay, come on. The fucking angling there. Fuck me. one way to do it, I guess. You were weak to fire? I mean, I would be, yeah. Five thousand five hundred gold. Just in a treasure chest, huh? Alright. Good job in the water. 
go to field. I don't think this is where we want to be. Not a new enemy at the very least, so let's check it out. He's got a lot of HP, but I'm able to lock him down pretty good, I think. I'm probably just trying to make a super armor in our uh, unblockable. 24 EXP, EXP. Not too bad. Not as good as the other area we were in, but... Got an all-purpose knife. Light! Sharp! Easy to maintain. Use phonic power to cook even better. Alright, we're gonna save here, guys, and then, uh... We'll take our break, come back, and uh, do some more Tales of the Abyss. Alright, don't go anywhere. <laughs> 